Welcome to our March solar energy and usage stats and we're going to um, put the costs in with this video as well due to due to a late video publication. As usual I'll leave this slide here so you can have a look at our setup at home and um, so you can pause that if you want but the biggest change this month has been our Octopus Energy Intelligent Tariff has come to its end of its fixed term and our prices have changed considerably. Our off-peak um, costs have now gone from 7.5 pence to 10 pence per kilowatt hour. Our peak rate has gone from 42 pence to 45 pence per kilowatt hour. But by far the biggest increase is our daily charge, which has gone to 60.18 pence from 47.31 pence per, per day. Okay, so we generated 563.5 kilowatt hours. We had a low of 2.5 kilowatt hours and a high of 35.7 kilowatt hours, which gives an average of 18.2 kilowatt hours. We pulled 1.359 megawatt hours from the grid, and we got 504.7 kilowatt hours from the Tesla power wall. And our home usage is 1.852 megawatt hours, which is an average of 59.2 kilowatt hours a day. 21% of that came directly from the sun. 27% of it came via the power wall, but that could have been from the sun or the grid. And the rest of the power came directly from the grid of 52%. As you can see from this slide, our generation was really poor this March compared with other Marches since the solar had gone in. So only 247.2 kilowatt hours from the original inverter, that's the red column. The blue column, which is the second three kilowatt inverter, produced 238.2 kilowatt hours. And the green column here, our small 1.2 inverter, produced 78.1 kilowatt hours. And that's a total of 563.5 kilowatt hours altogether. Over the two cars, the e-Golf and the MG5, we did... 538 miles in March and that came out at a cost of £14.78 and 51 kilowatt hours of that came directly from the sun. Our average cost per kilowatt hour including the solar for the month was nine pence and that has taken which is actually higher than February because of the higher cost per kilowatt hour on the new Octopus tariff that I'm on the new Octopus Intelligent tariff and the overall average for the year now is up to 9.1 pence per kilowatt hour. And looking at where our power went, 28.6 kilowatt hours went to grid export. The water heating used 273 kilowatt hours. Our general home usage was 499.88 kilowatt hours. Clothes cleaning and drying was 67.9 kilowatt hours. All our cooking was 63.4 kilowatt hours. Space heating is still our greatest load in the house in March of 776.2 kilowatt hours. Car charging used 198.8 kilowatt hours and gaming on the Xboxes used 36.6 kilowatt hours. And our costs in March at nine pence per kilowatt hour, the grid export would have cost us two pounds and 57 pence the water heating has cost us 24 pounds and 57 pence the general home and that's everything that i'm not monitoring is 44 pounds and 98 pence clothes cleaning and drying cost us six pound and 11 pence cooking cost us five pound and 70 pence space heating again the most cost we've had was 69 pounds and 85 pence Car charging was £17.89 and gaming was £3.29. And finally, to summarise up, up until the end of March of 2023, so this is from January, we've had no grid-free days yet. We've done 1,910 miles at a cost of £58.51. We've imported 5,002 kilowatt hours. We've had 1,123 kilowatt hours from our solar. Um, so that's a total of 6,125.2 kilowatt hours altogether. We've had an electricity cost of £576.33. We've had our first fit payment of £206.15. Um, our 
I've had some octopus rewards totaling two hundred pounds and fifteen pence. So that brings our balance up until the end of March for our utility bill of one hundred and seventy pounds and three pence, and that includes any VAT and daily charges. As usual, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe, and I'll leave you with the Tesla day by day data.